Carly, come with me on a trip to Kiambetu Tea Farm in Mudu, Kenya. It's about an hour outside Nairobi, and I booked my tour directly on their website, which I'll leave in the description for you. So I secured my ride, and I was on my way. Can I use? I see. <laughs> My daughter, what are you doing? Hey, what you doing? Hey, what are 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 you doing? of this area now. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now this is the We stopped on the side of the road to talk to the guy in the background of my picture. So he told us some stuff about the tea farm that he worked at and how his schedule goes. And my driver was being a good tour guide too. So he made sure to get these pictures of me picking tea. So we made it to the tea farm and I got there so early. I got to play around taking pictures in their cute little bathroom. Like, I feel like I was in a cottage, you know? And the landscaping and views are just unreal. I love gardens, I love plants, I love getting out in nature. So I just feel like if I could live here, like this is just beautiful, I would really live there. Some people came a little bit later, so I spoke to some other tourists a little bit and like a couple of the tour guides just to, you know, meet people and pass the time. Oh my God, I do remember uh, there being like two big dogs on the property. They didn't bother us or anything, but mm. Okay, so once everybody got in, we could actually start with the tour of the tea farm. The fields really seem to stretch forever, and then we got to learn more about the tea itself. The owner broke down the process of how it's picked, processed, um, you know, which tea makes it, which tea doesn't, and then how it's ground, and yeah, she even showed us the different grades of tea here. And we actually got to try some tea, of course. It was really, really good, really smooth, and I feel like it's because of the hand-picked process that she was talking about. So next we got to start our tour of the grounds and the guy who led us was so sweet. Salami, locally, corn flour, uh, carlos, the fruits, nothing pow pow, the smallest pow pow. When it is ready to come yellow like the liu, uh, pow pow. And we have the tea tomato, the lead you see. Mm -hmm. So when it is ready, come red yes and this is astro media flower so Fiona is not buying the flower it's getting to the garden mm. yes. I know we saw some cows out there and then we were on our way like deeper into the little forest area the owner mentioned that this land had been in her family since the early 1900s but of course you know there are probably already people here 
and it was so interesting to hear that they actually use so many things from the forest for like medicinal reasons and I think that's crazy because I can't go into the forest and pick anything that could like make me healthy or save my life so yeah that's really cool that they have that knowledge passed down and on my picture you'll see me holding a porcupine needle and that's just about one of the animals because the guy who's leading the tour mentioned that he leaves food out for monkeys and stuff when they get hungry and i just think that was so cute he knows that they'll be back and i guess you know like they're expecting him to leave something too okay hey y'all clearly you know i'm out of pictures because i didn't plan on vlogging or vlogging anything like i plan on just having my memories but now that i'm ready to share everything with y'all um we just gotta keep going with the story right so after our tour we got to have lunch and what i didn't get to mention was that i did meet two black american women while i was out there so hey to ashley and hey to me if they ever get to see this like i wish we would have been able to hang out more in nairobi while we were there um i only got to hang out with ashley like maybe one or two more times but even that that was cool that was really cool they were fun to talk to and i'm like okay yeah look at that we are never alone especially on the continent ain't that nice so oh yeah back to the lunch back to lunch i will say everything everything was really really good i think it was more like a three course type lunch or something like that i don't know they just had it set up real fancy and you know i just felt very pampered and catered to service was great the food was great i think we had butternut squash soup and like bread and butter and everything else was more like buffet style so you just had to go through and you know make your plate all the meat was good the rice i don't even know if they had that like pilau type stuff but the pilau is on my list okay um yeah just everything is always good other than the butternut squash soup i know they had actual butternut squash maybe like casserole it did have potato chips on it but look just move it out the way move it out the way because the butternut squash itself is real good and i know we had maybe some desserts or like cookies biscuits something like that at the end i really enjoyed it we got to try some lemonade i think they even had the stony table easy on the table but i was just happy to be there happy to be able to talk with people and meet people who were experiencing some of the same things that i was and yeah like back to ashley again like she had all the details about all her travels and whatnot so far she doesn't have a social media so i won't put her pictures on here you know and i hope y'all enjoyed the tour there was just so much to see like i really wish i spoke swahili so i'll be able to talk to the people that my driver stopped and talked to and yeah if you ever need like a cool safe driver you can ask me uh, for his number i'm sure he'll be ready to take on clients and stuff i just really appreciate the experience and it's so beautiful out there i really wish i had time to do even more things like, i think that day I was choosing between like, okay, am I going to the tea farm or am I going to, um, it was like the devil, something like that. The rock, the big rock. I can't think of the name right now, but there's just so many excursions that you could do out and around Kenya. And like, you can really start to ride and see more of the towns out there. I can't wait to get back out there and see. And you know, Hopefully, I'll be back in Kenya real soon, sooner than I think. Hopefully, this year should be this year. But, all right. I hope y'all like the tour. And if you want to see more of the nature and everything, um, I should be back over there this year to East Africa. So, I have plenty more to show you. Show you. I have plenty more to show you. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Hey, again, y'all. 
I just realized like I actually would be back in Kenya this year. So I'm hosting a group trip. It's called Experience Kenya 2023. I don't have any participants right now, so I'm like, am I going to be there? Am I not? Either way, I might be over there on my own. That That's okay, too, but I would love for y'all to come. So if you want more details on it, um, yeah, I got my little picture right here. And there's going to be the description, like the link in the description. And if you want to go to the website, you'll see all the details about it. So if you want to go, talk to me, let me know. And maybe I'll see you this year in Kenya. Bye. Bye for real. <laughs>